Now here the first question should have been what is binomial theorem? But we'll take care of that later. Right now, why do we even need binomial theorem? Let's start with something we used to memorize in lower grades. x plus y whole square. You remember the expression, right? x square plus y square plus 2xy. Similarly, most of us used to remember x plus y cube. And even if you don't remember, you can multiply x plus y twice or thrice and get these expressions. Not a big task. Let's increase the level. How do we get x plus y to the power 4 or x plus y to the power 5? We don't have an expression here that we have memorized. A single option we have is multiply x plus y 4 times or 5 times or 6 times. Not that easy, right? With the increasing power, it's getting painful to calculate the expansion of these powers, right? So do we have something for that? Yes, we have. We have binomial theorem for the expansion of higher powers of x plus y. But if you are having a first look at it, it's not looking that easy, right? So let's start with something very simple. This is a simple arrangement of numbers. The rule here is every number is the summation of two numbers written just above it. For example, you can see the 6 in blue color. It is the summation of 3 and 3 written just above it. Similarly, if you take a look at 10, it is equal to 4 plus 6 and so on. Now you can try to build it by yourself. Start from the top, add two numbers, write the result just below it. And in this way, you can build your own triangle. Okay, so we have a name for this triangle. We call this Pascal triangle. Now for what we are going to do with this Pascal triangle, you have to keep one thing in mind. The counting sequence starts with zero here. I'll repeat it. The counting sequence starts with zero here. Like the one at the very top is the zero row, not the first row. The row just below it, that is the first row. Then comes the second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row and sixth row. Likewise, you can see the one written at the beginning of every row. That is the zeroth term of every row, not the first. All right, so this is all about this triangle. Now one question, how is it helpful? So let's take an example. Let's say we have to calculate x plus y to the power 4. So we have certain steps, we'll follow it. Step 1. Since we have to calculate the fourth power, we'll bring out the terms of fourth row. Next step, multiply them with the powers of x. Now, how do we do that? Start with the zeroth power of x and multiply it with the zeroth term. Now, for the subsequent terms, keep on increasing the power by 1, like this. Easy, right? The third step is to multiply the powers of y as you did for x. The only difference is you have to multiply in opposite manner. Like 1 is multiplied with y to the power 4. Then comes y cube, then y square, then y to the power 1, then y to the power 0. And finally add these terms, you get the expansion of x plus y to the power 4. Simple. Similarly, you can calculate x plus y to the power 5. For that, you have to look at fifth row of this triangle. Now, let's say I have to calculate x plus y to the power 20. Here, we have a problem. Because for that, you have to write 20 rows of this triangle. That is quite time taking, right? So do we have a solution for that? Yes, we have. An Indian mathematician, Mahaviracharya, he gave an expression or you can say a formula. He said that the kth term of nth row of this triangle can be written as factorial n by factorial k into n minus k factorial. 
but the question is what is a factorial so we will deal with factorial in detail in another video for now i am giving an example let's say i have to calculate factorial 5 so what you have to do is multiply 5 with all the numbers is smaller than 5 up to 1 so 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 this is factorial 5 similarly factorial 6 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 all right so you got it it's that simple so let's remove it now now coming back now you have a formula for any term of this triangle you can calculate any term of this triangle with this formula right so why not calculate the terms of nth row let's say we call the zeroth term as a0 how we can write that like this a0 will be factorial n by factorial 0 into n minus 0 factorial we are just putting k is equal to 0 as kth term of nth row is this so zeroth term of nth row will be just put 0 in the place of k right similarly we can calculate a1 a2 and so on now we have the terms of nth row right so as we calculated x plus y to the power 4 using the fourth row of this triangle can we calculate x plus y to the power n using the nth row of this triangle right so the expression will be something like this similarly as we wrote earlier just write the terms multiply with increasing powers of x and decreasing powers of y and that's it add the terms you get the expression now if we generalize it what do we get here we have a generalized formula of x plus y to the power n and this is what we call binomial theorem it was looking complicated for you in the beginning but i hope you understand it for any queries you can drop a mail at slidescreen at gmail.com